Here's a random tip I got on Fiverr that was really helpful for an easy thing to do to rank a domain higher. One of the easiest things you can do to rank your domain higher is just pay for it for a longer time. I've got my domain on GoDaddy and uh, you can see my domain at jerrybanfield.com is registered through 2028. As you can picture Google thinking about which domains to rank the highest, you can imagine Google would look at how long a domain was registered for and think, hey, the longer a domain's registered, the more consistency we can expect over time. Now, I don't expect that this is a massive ranking factor that'll change everything. What I do see is that it's part of a lot of those little things you can do to boost your position that's really easy. So I encourage you, register your domain for the longest time possible that your registrar has. 10 years should be plenty of time. What is ridiculous is when, say, you've got your uh, jerrybanfield.com, something like that, your name that you should have forever, and then you're renewing it from year to year and risking, say, not paying attention or have the credit card not bill, and then your domain expires. This is easy to see why Google considers this a ranking factor because you wouldn't believe how many website, websites I've came across over the last few years, and you probably have two, or the website isn't valid or doesn't even work anymore. Google obviously expects if the website is registered longer, it's probably a better bet in terms of the quality of the website. Therefore, real easy, next time or right now, whenever you renew your website, put it to the longest period your registrar will give you, and then you get that little boost to your organic search ranking. Plus, you can then set it up to renew for every year. What I do, mine renews every year and it pushes the expiration date back another year from after that. So if you look, I actually haven't done this yet, so this will be interesting to search for. I'm gonna search for google.com. I, I, I don't even know which, select all the squares with traffic lights. All right, there's, there's an, all right, there's technically traffic lights in that square also. Let's see how long Google's is registered for. Google's is registered and through 2020, which is funny. So Google, even on their own domain, only has it expiring for another Google's got their domain registered two years in advance. So you can imagine if Google's got their domain registered two years in advance, you definitely want yours to be at least two years in advance. Let's look how long Facebook.com is registered for. Maybe this will prove my point a little bit better. Their Facebook's is registered through 2028. A little little bit of validation. I don't know why Google has their own domain to two years. Wouldn't it be funny if Google.com expired and someone snagged that? Facebook has theirs registered 10 years in advance. So um, I, uh, Facebook's got theirs 10 years in advance, Google's two years in advance. You definitely want yours more than one year in advance at a minimum. All right, let's try this one more time. All the images with a storefront. All right, that's probably it. Let's see how long YouTube's registered for. Wow, that is hella sketchy. YouTube is expiring in 2019. Wow, YouTube's actually going to expire in a few days. All right, well. Let's see if we can grab uh, YouTube.com between expirations. <laughs> Whatever, I've got mine for 10 years. I heard it worked from a guy on Fiverr. Facebook's registered for 10 years, whatever. Maybe it works. Why not try it at least? You can feel good about it anyhow. <laughs> Jerry, this sucks, you should edit this one. No, because the, I believe this works and is true. So what if Google and YouTube aren't even practicing it? <laughs>